Good afternoon to, to everyone. Um, Erich, Ulrich uh, just informed uh, uh, us about the, the G20 roadmap and, and the relevance of the uh, interlinking of fast payment systems to enhance cross border payments. And it's true that today cross border payments are slow, uh, they lack transparency, and they are expensive. And uh, the interlinking of fast payment system is uh, seen as a, a promising avenue to improve that. And, and I will try to explain, I have a few slides for that. I will try to explain how uh, within the Euro system we came to the decision to implement a cross currency capability in TIPS. And also, what is our roadmap for that? The, the, the high level elements were already mentioned by, by Ulrich. So, if we move to the slide two, indeed. The first element uh, to take into consideration uh, is that TIPS from the outset is designed to support the settlement of instant payments in multiple currencies. If you allow a small parenthesis, TIPS is not the only target services uh, designed to support, su to support that. We also have T2S in the fields of security settlement and T2 for large value payments. Uh, T2S is already settling in uh, Danish Krona on top of the Euro, and T2 will do the same as from April next year. So you see the multi-currency dimension of the target services is, is quite uh, deep in our, in our DNA. Uh, coming back to TIPS, uh, TIPS is already settling instant payments in Swedish Krona since February this year. Um, as mentioned already, the Danish Krona will join uh, in April next year, so it, it's coming. And uh, um, indeed, I'm also proud uh, to share with you that uh, the Norwegian Central Bank and the ECB have signed what we call a Currency Participation Agreement, or CPA, last week uh, for the onboarding of the Norwegian Krona. Um, and in, from that perspective, the slide, uh, the, the small reference to NOK, NOK on the uh, right hand side is not up to date. We have a target date that is uh, Q1 2028. Um, and also, Iceland has expressed an interest in joining TIPS, and we have uh, already started the assessment of uh, uh, this, uh, the, the, the onboarding. So the first element of, of the that, that brought us to the cross currency is the multi-currency capability of TIPS. The second element is that TIPS is already positioned as the backbone for the pan-European reach for instant payments in Euro. Some of you may recall that in uh, 2022, the Euro system implemented in TIPS the so-called uh, reachability measures. Um, and those two measures uh, implemented uh, at that time have secured that any PSP uh, participating in, 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 a, in any sorry, ACH within the Euro area is able to reach any other PSP participating in any other ACH uh, via TIPS. And it's when we combine those two elements, so on one hand the reachability, but also the multiple currency capability of TIPS, it became clear that TIPS is in a unique position to facilitate end-to-end -end instantaneity of cross-border payments, at least for the, the, the currencies present in TIPS. Uh, the fact that we are settling on the same platform, and uh, I mean, that, that element allows uh, establishing a tight link of the two legs of a cross-currency payment to the point that the payment can be made instant end-to-end. Uh, -end. Uh, this also means that the settlement risk is eliminated, and typically when the risk is lower, there is also a legitimate expectation that the costs will go down. And therefore, we believe that uh, this initiative um, of implementing cross currency in TIPS fits perfectly with the objective set by the G20 to enhance cross-border payments. I have to say that the colleagues have added at the bottom of the slide the fact that TIPS delivers excellent performance in terms of latency and resilience. Of course, this is correct, but I'm not sure that this is fully relevant to explain why we have decided to uh, proceed with the implementation of a cross-currency capability in TIPS. If we move to the next slide, um, 
Well, I focused so far on the intra tips cross currency instant payments, but there is another flavor to it, and that is the ability to support the interlinking with other uh, fast payment systems. As shown on the slides, the roadmap that was approved by the Goring Council covers both the implementation of the cross currency capability in tips for the tips posted currency, as we say, and but also for the interlinking with other fast payment systems. This is now our mandate. Um, obviously, the first part, so the cross currency between the currencies hosted in TIPS is our prime focus. It is also slightly easier uh, to implement. Uh, as I just explained, we have a, a good level of control technically on the two legs, and we also have the ability to process them literally as one unit of work in the system. Also, the schemes uh, developed by the EPC, so the European Payments Council, and the NPC, the Nordics uh, Payment Council, are traditionally very close from each other. And there is good hope that this will be the same between the OCT in scheme of the EPC and the one to be established by the NPC. Uh, still, uh, this is for the intra tips, but we are also being mandated to progress on the interlinking with other fast payment systems. And in this respect, we plan to leverage on the new settlement model that we implement with this, uh, with the, the first parts to support this uh, interlinking. And uh, as already mentioned by Ulrich, uh, in our mandate, we will uh, work both on the establishment of bilateral links, but also on multilateral links. If we move to the next slides, um, we, uh, we have organ articulated our roadmap around uh, three distinct phases. The first phase consists of uh, partially implementing the one leg out scheme of the EPC. More concretely, we will amend the messages related to the instant payment flows, that is the PAX 8 and the PAX 2, and the investigation, that's the PAX 28, as prescribed by the uh, one leg out scheme of the EPC. Uh, strictly speaking, this is not yet interlinking, as the implementation still requires the intervention of an intermediary bank to process the second leg with the other uh, fast payment system. Therefore, this phase does not uh, provide certainty on the instant execution of the payment end-to-end. -end. Um, it is planned uh, for June 2025, and uh, our position is more that this is a technical step which will serve as a stepping stone for the second phase. And so I move now to the, the box in the middle, the phase two. And the phase two is the, the implementation of the cross-currency capability in tips hosted currencies. And as explained earlier, we will implement a, a settlement model, a new settlement model, whereby we link uh, the two legs of the cross-currency payment in tips so that they that we can guarantee uh, instantaneity end-to-end. -end. Um, the technical rollout of this second phase is scheduled for October next year. You see our tentatively. It is not for the technicality, because the change request is now scheduled for October. The tentative dimension is more uh, related to the business rollout of the solution. And uh, my colleague, uh, Andrea Di Martina, will uh, walk you through the model later in the afternoon. And beyond that, uh, our strategy is also to cover a third phase, which is a cross-platform interlinking. And here we believe, again, that the model that we implement with the phase two will help us for the cross-platform interlinking. Uh, of course, we believe that the multilateral setups, like the one proposed by Nexus, uh, has the potential to offer significant synergies and to open up for more uh, corridors. But it is fair to say that the governance in these multilateral setups is more complex. Today, I can share that we, I can share with you that we have already started formal talks with Nexus, and uh, we will assess the ability, the possibility to join uh, that uh, setup. And as I said earlier, we will also assess the feasibility of establishing bilateral links and in this respect, as mentioned by Ulrich already, 
we have started working with the uh, NPCI, so the National Payment Corporation in India, uh, because NPCI is operating one of the largest, if not the largest, fast payment system on earth, and it is called UPI. And um, obviously, the timing for this uh, third phase for multilateral and bilateral interlinking is more uncertain, um, and um, it's more uncertain than the previous ones. Uh, currently, we are targeting the end of 2026 or uh, the, the 2027, but we should have more visibility on this in the course of next year. So to summarize, we have already positioned TIPS as the vehicle to support instant payments uh, in euro across the, the ecosystem of PSPs and ACHs. And our ambition now is to extend this to the other currencies in TIPS. Uh, and here I would like to, to tell you or to report to you that we have an, an outstanding collaboration with the central banks that have already uh, decided to use TIPS. Um, this is going very well. We have regular uh, uh, coordination meetings and we are progressing at a, quite a high pace. Um, and last but not least, in terms of ambition, we want to position TIPS as the natural conduit or hub, if you like, for instant payments uh, beyond the boundaries of TIPS. This is obviously the phase three. At the bottom of the, of the, the slide, you can see that um, we will also assess, as part of phase three, the opportunity to bring further enhancements, for instance, in the context of the FX uh, uh, determination. But at the current juncture, it's, uh, I'm not really in a position to provide you more detail with this. We need to, to work uh, a bit more before sharing on that. Um, moving on to the next slide. Um, so what's next? So after summer, um, we have received the green light from the Government Council on the roadmap, as I just explained. We have already uh, progressed uh, quite nicely with the definition of the new settlement model for uh, to support cross-currency settlements. And we have started already the implementation of phases one and two. Uh, the necessary change requests for that have been prepared and approved uh, for implementation. Uh, going forward, we will, of course, continue our close dialogue with the industry. Uh, we have several focus sessions. Uh, we, we had several focus sessions already. We have this one, and we have also entered into a more technical dialogue on the subject. And uh, we will further intensify our uh, market outreach, outreach activities. And Jean Clément will explain that later today, how we, how we will explain how we intend to proceed concretely. So with this, I thank you for the attention.